Hi friends, my name is Samra Chaudhary. I welcome you to FIRES and in this episode 2 of FIRES and Trading View installation. So friends, today we will be knowing about the various installation steps that will be required for us to run the algo system. As I mentioned in the previous episode that uh, there are a couple of things that is essential for you. One is a API, API itself. Second is a smart charting platform. Third is a bridge that is going to connect between the smart charting platform and the API. And fourth definitely is a strategy. Now, if you remember, uh, by the end of uh, previous episode, we ended it with downloading a file from the fires uh, from the fires portal. Now, uh, by now, I'm sure you would have explored various options that is available in Trading View. And after exploring, you might have by now decided on which subscription to take because this step is essential for you to proceed. You have to click on the link that is provided in the description below and only on clicking the link from the description below if you are opening an account with trading view you will be able to get this offer from fires okay so if you have subscribed a pro pro plus or a premium uh, then after doing that all you have to do is you have to click on the link that is there provided in the description to fill in a google form as you are seeing that it is mentioning that you have already responded it means that you have to be careful while filling in the details because uh, you will be able to fill it only once but don't worry even if you make any mistake by by chance and you need some support you can definitely write a mail to support at fires.in and we will be there to help you in the form you have to mention your client id your subscription plan that is going to be pro pro plus or premium the trading view transaction id uh, which you have used which you will get while making the payment and definitely a screenshot of the same so the moment you are done with that you will be filling in this form submitting it to fires and in return what you will be getting back is a fires login id and password now friends this login id and password is going to be essential for you to open the fires api bridge until and unless you have this login id password it will not open please note your usual login id and password that you use to get into the fires portal is not the same as this one it has to be a different one it will be system generated and be provided to you okay so now the next step is in which i'm going to tell you how you have to install this fires api bridge and definitely the web socket of trading view okay so now let me straight away take you to my desktop where i can show you what you have to do Okay friends, so this is that folder that uh, we had downloaded in our uh, previous episode that you are already aware of. This folder on the top right hand corner. Now the first step is you have to extract it. I am extracting it and keeping it. You can extract and keep it anywhere. I am keeping it on my desktop itself. Okay. The extraction is done. Inside this there are two folders. One is this folder which is the fires API bridge. The second one is a trading view advanced extension. Right, so Fires API Bridge, the moment you open it, there are many files, you need not worry about all those things. This file you have to search, API Bridge Launcher. This is the main file for you, which is essential for you to create. Just right click on it, send to desktop, create a shortcut of it. So the moment you are doing it, you are creating a shortcut over here, it is coming. This is the file which you will be required to run the application when you are clicking on it for the first time it will show something like this you have to click on run anyway again it may ask you for some permission click on yes and then it is going to get installed it will take around one or two minutes basically it's uh, not uh, not not installing anywhere it is basically an extracted file you have to just unzip it and you have to open it every time as you open it now in the meanwhile you have got your login id and password this is the login id and password credentials that you will be getting from fires now you have to type in this id over here this i am just typing in which i already have i am clicking on login this is how the bridge will look like and this is how the bridge is so friends uh, there are various things uh, definitely i will be taking one more session in which i will be explaining each and every line item over here more in detail but for this episode for you to understand it thoroughly what is essential is uh, this mode over here now in the mode option there are two types of mode as you can see there are three types of modes the one is a default mode the other is a paper trading mode 
now when you click a default mode it means that you will be able to take trade for real and when you click on a paper trading mode it means that you will be able to take trade on a paper trading basis means the real trade will not happen in your fires account right so this is just for your understanding now from where the trade will come the trade will come from trading view right now this application is ready for you home page now this is your chrome browser in the chrome browser on the top right hand corner there are three dots right click on that those three dots after clicking on those three dots uh, you have to click on more tools and inside more tools there is something called extensions click on extensions by default your def developer mode again please follow my mouse pointer uh, on the right hand corner top um, this default developer mode will be off by default you have to switch it on and the moment we see you switch it on you have to click on load unpacked right the moment you clicked on load unpacked what you have to do is you have already downloaded this application on your desktop so this fire api bridge inside that there is something called trading view advanced extension double click on that inside that there is this uh, tvc ext version 2.1 just click on that and click on select folder the moment you do that you will see api bridge extension 2.1 is appearing over here okay this is one task that you have to do the moment you are doing it you will be seeing one more change on your browser itself on the top right hand corner over here okay you will see a small thing showing up over there which is called api bridge extension it means that the extension is installed now you have to type in the trading view uh, portal you have to go to the trading view portal in trading view by now you definitely have created a uh, id so in my case i already have a pro subscription so this is the page and here again on the top right hand corner you can see this this symbol alpha symbol which is on the top right hand corner api bridge extension it is colored in red now why it is colored in red because it is switched off just click on this and start the extension the moment you click on this and start the extension you will see that a button kind of a thing will come over here okay this will have le lx sex it means that this page is activated now now what you have to do you have to go to your application over here this is the application and in this application you have to click on start trading okay i have clicked on start trading i am on paper trading mode and i am here now how can i ensure that the thing is integrated properly so here in the symbol list i am seeing sbin which is sbi here also i am seeing sbin i am just clicking on le le means long entry you can see some paper trading field order placed paper trading happened so it means that the in the trading history if you go and see you will be able to see that the trade has been triggered successfully it has been placed successfully if i am clicking on lx again le after lx means one more see like you entered into a buy and you short that i mean you sell that uh, trade at a profit or at a loss so that is lx similarly se and sx so for all this you are seeing the orders are appearing here in your list fine so this is how the bridge works this is how you have to integrate the system so now i'm done with installing the fires api bridge i'm done with installing the web extension of trading view now one of the essential step over here is by till here if you are doing you will not be able to take real trade okay you will be able to take real trade only when you are actually integrating your fires api and for that you have to go to your fires api page and after going to the fires api page only then you can create your fires api so let me take you to this page this is the fires api dashboard um, need not worry if this link is not uh, working just you can type fires api dashboard and you can actually go to this page directly so here is the api dashboard page now once you are on the api dashboard page you have to click on the create app give a name so maybe 
any name you can give i am just writing it like fires api you can put a url any uh, url name you can give uh, let me put google.com doesn't matter you can put any if you have your own website you can give that also and a description is not a compulsory field you can just create it so my fires underscore api https colon slash slash google.com is just as an example i have used and description i have kept an api and then i am creating on create app the moment i do that see it will come this is the fires api app that got created and auto approved okay instantly it is going to get approved you need not wait you need not explain why you need it it's an auto approval system now uh, the next step is you have to go to your uh, fires api bridge click on application settings click on ok and here in the api credentials page you have to fill in those details only then you will be able to take real trade so let me see uh, what i have to feed in over here uh, app id is something that i will be putting on the top which is my api key my api secret is this number which is the secret id and redirect url or user id is what you have already mentioned you have to just copy paste those things here click on save configuration saved successfully okay you are done so this is exactly what you have to do the moment you are done with this it means that you will be in a position to take real trades as well now while taking real trades there are a couple of other things that you have to do that i will definitely show you gradually but for now i will just do a recap on what we have learned so far okay so today we learned about um, installing the fires bridge we learned about how to create a fires api app definitely i showed it to you just now fires api bridge extension using that bridge extension how you are talking with trading view now the most essential step is uh, how to configure in in a vps and how how to get a vps so friends uh, so far i hope you are clear uh, if, if you are not clear uh, in any of the steps please rewind and see it and for any question you can definitely uh, drop a mail to support at fires.in where you will get some help now what is a vps friends vps is a virtual uh, private uh, server in this what you will get is a very very high speed kind of a setup if you have seen this diagram that i showed you over here here i have mentioned that you need to have a computer or a vps and a steady internet now you have to understand couple of things when you are using a trading view when this application is happening trading view is online right whenever you are you are setting up any strategy in that it is running on real time basis the signal is going to get generated in a real time basis after the signal is getting generated from there it should come into your fires api bridge and for that purpose your system has to be on there should be uninterrupted internet connection and power supply so that the trade that gets triggered in the smart charting platform can reach you there and for that if you are in front of the system if you are doing some job or if you are a full time trader in which you use your system your laptop or your computer on a, a full time basis you need not avail a vps but if you are not having that confidence that your internet is dedicated 24x7 uh, steady and your power is also steady then in that case you need to avail a vps there are various types of vps international as well as local players are there so you can avail any vps uh, this is just a sample that you can take because to run this application uh, 500 mb of free space is required when you are running the app and when you are actually integrating it with trading view uh, it will require a little more of additional space so a minimum of 1 core 2 gb is essential for you to run this application so if you are going to amazon in amazon you can see a t2 small which is unmanaged unmanaged you can get for around rupees uh, 1900 a month azure you can definitely explore there you can actually choose the number of hours you will not be getting it for 24 hours uh, you will be but that is not required say for example you are trading in commodities as well as in equity in that case you can pay uh, pay as you go so that is like 15 hours multiplied by 22 days that's coming up to around 2475 rupees you can also 
check on Google Cloud. Uh, again, Google Cloud, all these things, these three things that I am talking about are unmanaged. Okay, so no one is going to help you install it. You have to um, read it through. You have to get the understanding and then install it yourself. Currently, Amazon is giving for free, both even Azure as well as Amazon, both are giving it for free for, free for one, one year. But um, once they will start charging, this will be the charge that uh, you will have to bear. TDA Cloud is a local player uh, who provide the data center to be in India. It's a local data center and uh, they provide 24 hours uh, into 365 days kind of a package at a price of rupees 749 rupees. It comes in a managed space. It, it basically it's a managed uh, VPS, which means it will come with all the applications of Fire API Bridge, Trading View pre-installed. Um, you can definitely drop a note to support at fires.in and we will come back to you to help you. So this is all about today's episode. In the next episode, we will get into the depth of the Fire API Bridge where we will talk about the symbol settings, application settings, how you will be able to do your risk management and there are various tabs that we have seen. We will talk more on that. That's all friends. Wish you all a very happy learning and happy trading.